You know, I don't think that people give much thought to the stress that tellers go through every single day. I mean, I'm standing there saying, yes, sir, no, sir. Would you like that in 50s or 100, sir? I mean, I must handle a gazillion dollars every damn day, and none of it is ever mine me. It's depressing, ain't it? I mean, I have bunions the size of golf balls. Really? Yeah. Do you have to wear special shoes? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were rich. <laughs> I love Sammy. Don't you? Sammy. Sammy. Hey there, Sammy Davis Jr. You with the stars in your eyes. He's dead, right? Love never well, technically speaking. Blue. I don't listen to dead singers. Gives me the creeps. <laughs> Except for the Beatles, but I was about 13 when John Lennon died. But since the majority of them are still alive, I guess it's okay. Not that I listen to the Beatles all that much. I mean, even if they do get back together, I don't think. Here, here, drink up. <laughs> I don't drink wine often, if you want to know the truth. <laughs> Except for peach coolers on a really hot day. That can be really nice. I like Trudy, your flavor. Trudy, Trudy, Trudy. Let's pretend. Hmm? Let's pretend that we're really rich and famous. People magazine just photographed our wedding. The Enquirer had to get shots from a helicopter, which I almost shot out of the sky with my handgun. We've been given wedding gifts worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, including the cutest little puppy. Uh, Shih Tzu. Hmm. A private jet is taking us to Paris for the first stop on a six-month honeymoon. Our suite is filled with roses and champagne. And biggest bed that you have ever seen. And now, after what has probably been the greatest day of either of our lives, there's only one thing left for us to do. We are going to fuck ourselves across the sky. Ugh. What happened? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm just, I'm involved in a complicated dispute with a water and power company. It's okay. I'm scared of the dark. You're, you're what? <laughs> I'm serious. I'm scared of the dark. I mean, I'm really okay. scared of the dark. All right, well, listen, I got some candles here. Some hope. Hold on. You know, I was just a I little girl. Right I got locked okay. into this okay. closet. No, and I just no. screamed and screamed and screamed. No, they let me out. It was really, really fine. No, 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 no. Please, no screaming. No, no screaming, Trudy. Hey, just think peaceful little thoughts, all right? Find a happy place, I'll find a candle. Send a reporter, send a photographer with you. Yeah, I think we should. Well, I got back to me this afternoon. Yeah, I think we gotta do that. All right, I'll talk to you later. Help yourself. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, Richter. I'm completely in the dark about your attitude. I thought you wanted to talk to me about the piece for the weekend section. Oh, you have your review? No. Not exactly, but I'm sure I could get it done lickety-split if I had him. Then I'd say we have an attitude problem, wouldn't you? You've been back one month and you're already missing deadlines. I call that an attitude. You're a screw-up, Richter. I appreciate your forthrightness, sir. Mr. Lady, I'll have that review ready first thing Monday morning. Oh, and Richter. Yeah. Our families were friendly. I want you to keep that in mind. A favor is a favor. I'm about to suffer for the usual reasons, unnecessary humiliation. 
Want to come? What kind of humiliation? Mother, son. Will there be groveling? If cornered. Good. You drive. So, how was your blind date? Well, it was, uh, abbreviated. Bill, Victor, mother. I am not in the mood to lend. I have a business proposition for you. I'd rather lend. It's it's regarding the farmhouse. Here, pay your bills, whatever it is you do with it. Well, actually, I, I have a plan. A plan? If I want to hear you talk, I'll squeeze you. I have a plan. I'm taking Billy with me this afternoon to Dallas for the weekend. When I get back, you and I will have lunch. Mom, it would be nice to actually have a conversation with you. And stay out of my apartment. How'd it go? Horrifying, but brief. What? Bedford and Harmon Shaw. Big oil, bro. Yeah. Or what's left of it. My, my, my. Look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> Richter Boudreau. Mr. Shaw. Well, I thought we'd run you out of town, boy. Well, I'm back. Yeah, I can see that. Well, we're gonna have to get together and have ourselves a little talk sometime soon. Hmm. Mm. Well, welcome back, Richter, and uh, good luck to you. Thanks. Come on, Bedford. Yeah, damn it. I uh, stripped his daughter once. She was a lifeguard down at the pool. The one they sent off to the sanitarium? Yeah. How did Harmon take it? Did not take it well. I covered a press conference at his new industrial park. He's talking to this guy. I find out later it's one of his bankers. Anyway, it's like a private conversation, right? But no one else is talking much, and we're all in earshot. He knows we're listening, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Joke. What do you get when you cross a groundhog and a nigger? Six more weeks of basketball. Ho oh, oh. ho. Can you believe it? What? He tells nigger jokes? Yeah, no, no, I no, no. That. What gets me is nobody even mentioned it. Nobody fucking blinked. It's like he did it on purpose. Around here, nobody notices. Yeah, well, around here, everybody tells nigger jokes. I don't. Uh, Richter, there's a woman on your car. Whoa. Yeah. That's the first woman that ever broke my heart. Richter, honey. <laughs> How y'all doing? Well, Vicky, darling. It's nice to see you. I've been looking for you all over. Well, I've been back a month. You gonna introduce me to your friend? Oh, I'm sorry. Vicky Stover, it's Louise Brinkman. She works with me down at the paper. <laughs> Which I never read. But if I did, I would immediately keep an eye out for your pile. Is it a Miss Brinkman? Thank you. Ms. Stover? <laughs> Mrs. So, uh, was that Keith that I saw driving down 41st the other day? Yes, I have heard my big brother's back from his latest facility. How's home life? It's fine. Ron is working out to be a real fine daddy. <laughs> Fact is, got ourselves a sitter tonight. And, um, me and Ronnie were wondering if we could come see y'all. Tonight? Hmm. Uh, actually, I, I have a review I gotta finish tonight. Victor. Ronnie says he wants to talk to you about something special. Me? Hmm. Business proposition. Those were his very words. Oh, listen, Rector. I really need to get out tonight. Even with Ronnie and all. I miss you. Well, I, I guess I could write the review this afternoon. <laughs> I swear you are, sweetheart. Oh, and, um, Richter, if Ronnie says anything, you know, about you and me going out last Friday, just go along and say we did. Just say we went to you know, the show. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I got a lesson. Oh, uh, Vicky, I'm not at the farmhouse this weekend. I'm out at my mom's apartment house sitting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. oh, 
God, I'm stupid. air conditioning don't chill my butt. Mm, nice. Hey, why don't we get us a place like this? Hey, Ronnie, honey. Hey, hey, my man. Hey, Richter. What the fuck is that? You gotta think with your spine, brother. Mm, some people, that's all they got to think with, isn't it? <laughs> Was that supposed to be a joke? Drink. Absolutely. <laughs> That's funny. Who lives here? My mom and Billy. Billy, your dad. Half brother. His dad's dead, Ron, honey. That's right. About 20 years ago, we weren't real close. Yeah, I just forgot. He just forgot. Listen, you want to get off? Told you I don't do that no more. Yeah, you tell me. Richter? No, thanks. <laughs> Where's the TV? In there. So, how are things? Things are fine, just great. Yeah. Where'd you get that bruise? Not this whole thing. Oh, I guess I don't know. I guess I just bump into stuff, huh? Hmm. You know, uh, you don't have to take that. Take what? Bruce. Is that right? How you feel when you discovered that your sister was in fact your mother? Wouldn't Daddy be happy to see me now? <laughs> you know what he told me? He was trying to talk me out of it. I mean, he feared Ronnie for some poor trash just chasing all my money. <laughs> he goes, Vicky, that boy's all dead. <laughs> I mean, Ronnie wasn't after my money. Only me. So why aren't you getting high with him? Well, that shit's bad for you. <laughs> I quit. I'm serious. Quit for Clem. Hmm. She's just starting to crawl. She only goes backwards. Mama's girl, that's for sure, huh? <laughs> Never figured you for a mom. Me neither. What? Oh, I don't know. I guess I never feared we'd all end up in Tulsa. We had plans, didn't we? Well, maybe we could help each other out. Yeah? You wanna run away from home? I'm so sick of fucking talk shows. Come on, Richter, we got some things to talk about.
Ronnie, listen, I'm uh, sorry I don't have that, that money for you. I, I should have it next week or the week after latest. Is that okay? Maybe you could help me with something. Well, how, how do you mean help? You mean like instead of the money or? Maybe. See this pouch? Done. <laughs> this pouch got a fucking fortune in it. All I gotta do is figure out the details. What, what details? Paper. I need access to the media's. Media. It's uh, it's already plural. Ronnie. Ronnie. What? Yeah. Well, okay, it's just swell, Ronnie. I'll tell you what. You just let me know when, and I'll put the media's on full scale alert. This ain't funny, Richter. I ain't stupid. No, hey, listen, I was just... <laughs> oh, my. Ain't this cozy? <sighs> Where's my cigarettes? It's weird. Mm -hmm. To Ronnie? Charming fellow. A little shy, but a nice phone manner. What's in the pouch? I have no idea. How much do you owe him? Richter, there's <laughs> a gentleman here to see you, but he wouldn't wait, so I guess he's on his way up. Hey, Boo, what's going on, man? Hey, Keith. <laughs> good to see you, man. Yeah, God, you look good. Yeah, you too. Vicky told me you were back in town. Oh, yeah? yeah. And how is my little sister? No, she's the same. Oh, too bad. <laughs> Come on, let's win. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where? What do you mean, where? Where? Keys back in town, we're gonna celebrate. Hey, Keith, this is not exactly a great time for me, man. My day's already sort of fucked up, you know? Hey, you are looking at the prince. Fucked up days. Now, come on, boo boy. Key's gonna take care of everything. Entirely, sir, but somewhere around the fourth bar, I seem to have lost consciousness. Hey, conscious ain't no big deal, boo. Don't let it worry you, huh? Oh. <laughs> Come on. Hey, right. uh oh, turn around. Hey, there you go. Let's go drink. Take it and drive it. Depends on what you're drinking. Come on now, let's do it. Oh. I met this chick in Minneapolis. Same, Swedish day, some fucking thing. Uh. Oh, yeah, man. I banged her, that's what you mean. Oh, she ate my chili, baby. Uh, at least still she got over her high house. Oop. Uh. <laughs> Cute. Ah. Okay, face. Blonde. 
tits out to here. She was bad, man. Zane, Minneapolis, ooh. There's a problem, man. The box was too hot. Huh? Her box, her vagina, is too hot in there. If I put in my dick, it was scalding, huh? Maybe she was excited. Keep, mm. It happens. No way, man. The bitch never fucking been laid in her life. It was disgusting. Well, did you talk to her about it? No, no right way, no. And that's when she got on her high horse. Oh, no, 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 man. No, totally different thing. Huh? She starts saying some some stupid shit about oil companies or something. Some book she read. So I tell her, hey, baby. I happen to run on some more comes. Maybe I know just a little bit more about it than you do, huh? <laughs> oil makes the war go around, right? <laughs> so I went. Hey, you drive a car, huh? Use gasoline, huh? There you go. <laughs> Stupid bitch didn't even think it up, man. Yeah. Well, Whoa. You, yeah. you impressed her with your executive background. Hey, maybe I don't go in the office every day. So what? I help run things. Hey, you talked to my lawyer, Mr. Chip Carlson. Uh -huh. He takes care of the trust. He calls me all the time. I get reports and shit. So, uh, what, whatever became of Zane from Minneapolis? Hmm? I beat her senseless. Kicked her off her high house ice. <laughs> Ought to be a better way to end a relationship, man. Salt and battery feels... I don't know, a little severe. Hey, relationships for college boys, boo. Never trust anything that bleeds for five days and don't die. <laughs> hey, you remember back in fourth grade when Billy Peters come Billy looking Peters. to kick my ass? Yeah, huh? kick my ass. Uh, you stopped him, man. Yeah, with my you, face. You, well, you, yeah, you remember that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I remember just sitting there on my butt looking up at you, pushing and shoving and saying shit like, nobody beats up my friends. <laughs> oh, man. Hell, I didn't even know I had a friend at the time. I know, maybe you're just trying to show off in front of Vicky. No, yeah. no, man, it wasn't about that. Yeah, now well, I'll tell you what. I always remember that. Now you should know something. I ain't such a pushover no more. Yeah, I feel like going home. Mm. Mm. Now my mama. Dead. Little sister Don been disinherited and disowned because she run off and married some dope head drug dealer. And here I am just sitting here with all this money. Good boy. Oh, well. And all I want to do is just. Break shit in a little pieces. Never mind, never mind. Hang around.
single action Colts. The gun that won the West. Check them out, boo. Death's cold metal asshole. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yo. All right, all right. You, you watch way too much TV, my friend. Fuck it, man. I can't take this shit anymore. Man, you know, I that's I don't think that's fucking funny. Jeez, man, you need some help. You need some serious <laughs> therapy. I've been looking for you, Mr. Richter Boudreaux. Now what are you doing here? Ooh, just thought I'd say hi. That's all right with y'all. We'll play some tennis this afternoon. Oh, cut the hillbilly shit, okay? You can't play at the club. There ain't no family membership anymore. Just mine. Oh, darn it, Keithy in here. I just forgot. <laughs> you forget these little things after a few years go by. Mm, looks like you can use some exercise yourself. Kind of a lard butt pig these days, don't you think? Won't you eat my shit, okay, Vicky? Eat my shit, you slut. <laughs> Isn't this adult? Hmm. Mind if I go up and get me some stuff? Princess. I don't keep much of a tennis wardrobe at home these days. Fucking bitch. Get in and get out. Another 20 minutes, friend. You get your ass back down there. All right. Yeah. Hey. Hello, Rector. Vicky will uh, be right down. She's just trying on some tennis stuff. Tennis? <laughs> I could see what people got out of tennis anyways. Ball's too small. She said after you beat her last week, she wasn't back, and I said she'd whip your ass. Well, she's got a competitive nature. How's uh, Clem? He never called me back yesterday. Yeah, well, listen, you know, you, you can't, you shouldn't call me at the paper, really. It's not cool. I hope you got that pouch safe. <laughs> Good. Meet me tonight. We'll talk about this deal I got. You know, I, I don't know how much there is really to talk about. I'm broke and... I'll be at 6-6, six, six, round 9. Unless you and Brother Keith got plans. I... I could get out of them. Yeah, old Keith. Best he's not around. Drugs. Gross dies. Hey, uh, this is a record. How many times have we been out lately? I mean, just so we're both telling your husband the same lie. I'm sorry. I should have told you. He used to tell me everything. Hey, Victoria! Hey! Didn't know we were expecting guests. Yeah, I've been looking for a little competition, huh? Oh, well. Oh, Richter. This is Chip Carlson. Hi. Chip's an old family friend. Chip's the executive of the family trust, as I recall. That's right. Hello, Richter. Looks like we got ourselves a doubles match here. <laughs> Why don't you go warm up? We're already wet, huh? Listen, Chip's gonna drop me a few blocks from home, okay? But I'm gonna tell Ronnie you did. <laughs> no, something came up. Something came up? Anything else? Did it snow today? It's right there. Not like this line and sneak around anymore. You do. It's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> It's 
sure you won't say anything. I keep seeing you. Not good. You know, same, Keith. But... Chip's been calling me for help. It seems our little Keithy may have gotten himself some real trouble this time. Beating up girls. I don't want Looney being in another home. Poor little black lady. Hey, darling, come on. I believe old Milk's beginning to tire. <laughs> Vicky, how can we do it? Doing what? Whatever it is you and Chip are doing to Keith. Keith, you know, your own brother. Oh, you mean y'all don't believe I'm concerned, sister? Huh. Just say I'm tired of who I am these days, Victor. Hey, darling, come on. I'm coming. Swing through, Parv. Just swing through. You don't gotta kill it. No. In fact, I do have to kill it, Chip. I'm sorry, but that's just the way I feel. Okay? All right. Come on. Shit! Victor! Uh, hi, Mom. How was your trip? Abbreviated. Brunch tomorrow, 11 sharp. You and I have a lot to talk about. Come on, <laughs> oh, dear. Boo, things are messed up. I'm in Oklahoma City till Tuesday. I can't handle it. Help yourself, everybody else does. Key. P.S. Are you really my friend? Angel on my shoulder. Lying in my bed Telling me to listen To the words inside of my head Can I get a beer? I'm looking for a guy named Ronnie Stover She run the three miles home from where you dropped her. Yeah. Yeah, well, I told her I, I didn't think she should do that, but you know Vicky. Yeah, I know Vicky. Thank you, darling. You get better looking every day. Me and Vicky ain't doing too good these days. She say anything to you? Not a thing. It's money, always comes down to money. That's the way she was raised. She chose you, man. She, she kissed all that money goodbye. Well, fish swim in water, dry land to know. This is Victor Boudreau. Come here all the way from very famous families. You're trying to act nice. Hi. Charmed. Which is the dude I mentioned? I can't go back to my place. No way. Oh, yeah, that's no good of mine. I guess we'll just have to figure out something. Figure out something, oh man. You, uh, you could stay with me. You can stay at Rector's. I like that. Keep the two together. I'm not fucking him, okay? Neither am I. It's the old team spirit. I can't do this. Uh, we'll be back in a minute.
Where's Jerry? He's getting ready to dance. Feels better now. Oh. A stripper and a junkie. Does she hook? She the see of a dame. There was this black girl who used to work here named Merla. That's her. Jerry knows who killed her. She's seen it. That's where we're making us some money. Who did it? You think I'll tell you then? Was it a white guy? Well, let's just say you can afford to pay for what he done. Shit, he can afford to pay twice for what he done. Now, you tell me, is that a white dude? That's blackmail. No oh, shit. Richie is taking me home, baby. Mm -hmm. What do you say we tell Rick about Erla? Mm -hmm. Come on, darling. You gotta talk about it sometime, sweetheart. So I think you should reconsider this blackmail. Thing. Is that right? I guess I better yeah. call them folks back then. Uh, what, you called on the phone? I've seen a little TV, Richter. I use pay phones. Different one each time. I told them we want a million even. Mm -hmm. well, I think she should go straight to the police yesterday. Fuck the police. You listening? They ain't even got around to find out who the dead girl is. Rich white boy, dead black girl, working topless. How's that look to you? They might as well stick her in a bag and send her home. There ain't no justice, not for no dead black girl. Cherry, Cherry! She don't know shit about Tulsa. She don't even know who the dude is. But she's seen him, right? Seen his car, too. Real fast white car. Can I ring a bell? Honey. Family like that, he ain't what you call hard to identify. Especially now that he's got blood all over them white seats. Damn shame, ain't it, Richter? The sort of car you'd call a classic. <laughs> I do believe once you even had a thing for a sister. See what I mean, partner? This here's a whole lot more complicated than you've been thinking. You take care of my girl now.
Guess I've been looking in all the wrong places. I feel like a little animal protein. Uh, you want a little pick me up? Sure. You live here? Uh, not exactly. I'm sort of house sitting here. Listen, you know, there's, there's something that we should talk about. Follow me. There's a football field in the living room. How long you been in Tulsa? Three months. How did you end up here? I followed someone to Houston, but he left, so I decided to go to Chicago. Which explains why you're in Tulsa. Sort of. You always been a dancer? Nope. But I've been stripping for some time. I thought junkies lost their appetites. I'm not a junkie. I just chip, like Ronnie and what's your name? Vicky. Yeah, the bitch. How, uh, how old are you? I don't think you can tell that by looking between my legs. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I wasn't really looking. You weren't looking? No, I, I have this wandering ideal where my, my right eye just sort of drifts. You were drifting. <laughs> I was mesmerized, okay? I mesmerized you? Well, you, you walk around looking like that, and someone's bound to look. I mean, it's, it's almost a fact of nature. I mean, look, I could take down my pants, and we'll see who's looking. Go ahead. No. You're shy. First of all, I'm not wearing pants, per se. You're boxers, then. <laughs> no. Chicken. Why don't you just cover up your... My what? Your nether region. My Netherlands? I refuse to pun. You're stepping in the pancakes. You're cute. And you're rich. Oh, I'm not rich. Just my luck. Vicky's brother. And the mom and dad? The mom and dad, Michaels, are the big country club in the sky. The waiters are always polite. Mm -hmm. His mom was... Uh... Oh, shit. What? What? My mom! What? I have, I have this business appointment. You can't leave me here alone. No, you just sit tight. I'll be back in an hour. You'll be safe. I got this place till Tuesday. You'll be okay. Hi. I ordered you a grilled cheese. Thank you. Aren't you gonna order something for you? Richter, you're nearly an hour late. I've eaten. Oh. Thank you. You'll never guess the news that I have. Are you doing anything Tuesday night? 
because I'm throwing a big party. <laughs> Why? I got married again last week. <laughs> oh, my Lord God. Oh, I burnt my fucking tongue. Are you all right? I'm all right. I'm sorry, it's here by foot. Well, don't, don't play with it. Oh. So, <clears throat> what's, what's his name? Your, your, your new husband. Vic. Vic Hill. I met him at Vale this spring. Mm. Really hit it off, huh? Eh? Vic is the founder and CEO of Hill Thank Manufacturing you. and Developing. Of course, at this point, that's not all he does. Victor was recently appointed to head the governor's special counsel on future energy needs. Of course, he really doesn't have the time, but he's that kind of man. Republican, huh? Cool. So, when do I get to meet him? Tuesday. He's oh. flying up so right. everyone can meet him. Right, right. Well, <clears throat> that's great, Mom. That's, that's just super. I'm so excited. Uh -huh, I'm excited for you. <laughs> Uh, well, listen, Mom, not to change the subject or anything, but I have a little proposition I'd like to talk to you about. Mom, I'm in trouble. Again? No, no, not that kind of trouble. I, I just, I don't like the, the, the way that my life is, is going. I, I want to make some changes. I, I want to try and make the future mean something. Richard, you just got back. Now, I know the farmhouse. I'm not supposed to get it till I'm 35, but it's still mine, right? Well, I'd like to fix it up and sell it. Sell it? Mm -hmm. Who to? To you. Well, I like to do the work myself, but I, I need some money just to, to get things started. Materials and... And it would just be a loan. You'd get it back. As soon as I sold the house back to you, you could deduct it from the sale price, and I could take that money and use it to, to buy a new place somewhere and get a fresh start. When your father and I first got married, I thought the good life would go on forever. You can imagine what it was like for a girl who'd hardly been out of Bristol, much less Oklahoma. <laughs> And there I was, married to Malcolm Boudreaux, this rising young attorney. Oh, yeah, and son of Mr. Truman Boudreaux. Boy, I hit the big time at last. Some big time. A squalling kid, an alcoholic skirt chaser for a husband. I waited years in that ranch hand's cottage, your farmhouse. We didn't have any money. But your grandfather helped me out. See? He helped me out, all right. And there's Malcolm acting the whole time like he don't know what's going on. And I am not going to let you disappoint me anymore. No, Mom, listen, I'm not, I'm not Dad. I'm not. I'm... Billy and I are moving to Dallas at the end of June. That farmhouse, by the way, in worth the rent you owe me for it, I had it assessed. The, the rent I owe you? You can go over the figures with my accountant if you want. Or if you want to try to sue, maybe you can find a way to pay me back. But my lawyer doesn't think that tenancy clause is exactly ironclad. Well, I guess the place is yours, then. Just business, son. Well, 
Well, that's okay. I'll do it again. That's okay. Everybody misses the first time. Okay, get your hand back up there. Hand off, finger off the trigger, finger off right, the trigger. Right, right, right. Now, let's cock it all the way. Get your finger away from the... That's it. Finger on the trigger. Go. Oh! Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. Put the gun down! Hey, this is private property. You put your gun down. Now! Or the next one's in your ass. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's Keep just... that busted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you never should talk bad to those cops. Ronnie's Terry. gonna freak. No, Terry, look, I thought that, that Keith did it. Did what? He shot in some flower pots. No, no, but I, I thought that, that it was Keith. Ronnie's blackmail. I mean, I drive up, I see Keith's car, and I thought, oh, you know, God. <laughs> Lucky for me, you're stupid. Otherwise, I'd be dead. Oh, shit. Oh, get my hat. Get my hat. Terry? Terry, listen to me. Hey. Hey, listen to me. Listen, listen to me. me. Listen to me. I brought you here without thinking, but Keith was out of town till Tuesday, so I, I thought that I had enough time to get to know you and then get you out of here, but I just... Uh, I just wanted to get to know you more than anything, and that... It made, made me stupid. Real stupid. I'm sorry, I just... If you knew Keith, then... It's not him, though. Who the hell is it? Talk to Ronnie. Where are my guns? Where are my guns? This is bullshit. Watch your mouth. Keith, sign the paper, it's late. What a fucking setup. Okay, pal. Fine, fine. I can play your game. I'm gonna sue your pig ass off. Better watch who you call him pig, fat boy. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Keith, fuck you. Cut it out. Fuck Cut it you. out. Hey, Cut. and you! You think I don't know what's going on here with you, huh? If you want my money, you're gonna have to do more than fuck my sister to get it. You understand me? Listen to you, my friend. You just remember who it is you're talking I to. I know who it is I'm fucking talking to. Hmm? And if you don't find a way to get my guns, I am going to kick your ass. Understand? Hey, Chipper. How's that old backhand? You're out to get me, man. And I don't know how to stop it. Hey, I've done some crazy shit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I ain't crazy. I know you're not. Well, Chip and Vicky, they think different. They oh. think they can prove it, too. Hell, all it takes is the right judge and a piece of paper. Come on, Key. She's your sister. <laughs> you know, that's what I like about you. You remember us the way we used to be. As if it mattered. Yeah, Mr. Shaw wants to see you at the country club. Right now. Young Boudreaux. Can I mix you a cocktail? No? Want to keep a clear head? Well, good for you, son. Good for you. Well, you know, I was, uh, I bartended for five summers in a row when I was young. You know, they say that a man can learn a great deal standing behind a bar. You and I learned. Keep your jacket clean, smile for tips, and never, never serve a married woman before lunch. <laughs> Sit down, Richter, and have yourself a, a nut. You working? Yeah, over at the journal. The journal? Oh, damn, Preston's. Preston's keep me out of this. What are you, uh, some kind of a, a news hound or what? 
Uh, movie reviews. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen a movie, see. Well, the last movie I saw was Cleopatra. And yeah, Liz Taylor knows. Tall's violet eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, are you sure I can't uh, mix you something here? Uh, oh, I know, I bet, uh, I bet you're one of those diet soda drinkers, aren't you? Got any bush mills? Irish, you bet, coming right up. You like a little ice with that? Yes, please. Uh -huh. How's that? Oh. That's uh, fine. Ooh. Ah, oh, Richter, you and I, we have a problem. We, our men, we love our women badly. Well, that is a problem, I guess, but... Yeah, well, uh, it's not know. that we mean to, but it's hard to control those urges. Sometimes those urges can lead us astray. You follow me when I'm... Sort of. Well, the reason I'm telling you this is I want you to understand that I know the way you treated my daughter. Not to forgive, I can't manage that. But now, now she's finally coming home. And by God, that makes me happy. That's great. Really, anything I can, uh... well, there's probably not, but if there's anything I can. Of course there is, Richard. That's why your butts and that's too. Wherever you came from, you go back there. The sooner the better. Take a trip. Go visit some of your big city friends and send her bills to me. At Mr. least you Shaw, tell... I'm not sure you have the right idea about me and Brenda. It was I know, exactly. I know exactly the way it was. Now you just send those bills to me. I don't want your fucking money. Times are changing, son. And not for the better. We are all going to be tested. You damn sure will be tested. Yeah, well, as long as they grade on a curve. Richter. Richter! I could have been a good friend to you once upon a time. For fuck's sake, Karma, can you think of a single reason why? Well, let's just say your mother and I are old friends. Well, yeah, Richter, you could almost be my son. Get this. Everybody's favorite millionaire oil man had himself a little terrorist problem Saturday night. Hello. Now, we all... Uh, Cynthia Rawling, please. Cynthia Boudreaux Simpson Rawling. Now, we all know yeah. Palm and Shaw Her values son. nothing above his loving family. Yeah, I'll hold, sure. I suppose that even includes the daughter he stashed in the bin. You remember yeah, her, right. Richter. But no one occupies a more fruitful place in the old racist's heart than son and heir, Bedford. Bedford. Why anybody would want to blow up young Bedford's car is a mystery. Yeah, will you tell her that Richter called? Happily, young Bedford was inside the restaurant when the explosion went off. After a routine questioning by police, the yeah, badly shaken heir apparent went into seclusion at his daddy's ranch. Sort of a shit kick as Xanadu. White classic sports car. Richter. When did this happen? Saturday, I pull into this parking lot. There's two fire engines, an ambulance, and about 19 squad cars, and this stinking pile of burned rubber and metal in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah, where was Bedford during all this? Camped out in his old man's stretch, very emotional, very distraught. Harmon was there when he got there kind of quick, didn't he? Shaw's giving a press conference tomorrow. Maybe you want to help me cover. Richter! Hello? Roddy? Looking to get killed, comrade? Baby still asleep? Had to run down to the get and go. She is a car starts to wake up just like that. A man can't go without smokes when he's thinking. Choke this shit up. I mean, 
Well, I thought you were somebody else. No car out front. I find somebody sneaking around my yard. I've had people coming here with loaded guns before. I parked down the block. I would be better. You want a beer? No. Thanks. Shit, it's hot out. We got some, uh, some real bad news here. Check this out. What do you mean you seen it? It's on TV last night. It means they're finally starting to take me serious. I upped the ante to one and a half. You did what? I called them up, told them I was tired of this shit. They want to fuck around, the price goes up. Yeah, but they just destroyed the evidence, right? Now it's just Cherry's word against his. They ain't a fucking court of law, Richter. Ever gets that far, we're fucked anyways. So what'd they say? Now we're gonna blow up the car to show good faith? They didn't say nothing. They just listen and hang up. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? That's very promising. This is fucking suicide. This is a fucking turkey shoot, my friend. Cherry took a little souvenir, remember? I left it with you for safekeeping. Yeah, but see, I, I didn't know that you were talking about Bedford Shaw, about Harmon Shaw, I, I, the white sports car. I thought you were talking about Keith's. Well, you thought wrong. Hi, what are y'all doing? Kissing in here? Hello, Richter. It's nice to see you. <laughs> I walked past your car down the block. I thought, well, that is Richter's car. But I guess he just forgot where we lived, didn't he? Of course, that didn't surprise me, seeing as I don't actually remember the last time he paid us a visit. <laughs> oh, and how's my run it, Dean? <laughs> Everything okay around here? I just had so much fun playing tennis the other day. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Oh. Here's your nasty un... God damn it. Did you wake up, Clem, just to get a pack of cigarettes? Did you? You couldn't fucking wait? <laughs> She's asleep. Wrecked the baby set while I was out. Great. The type of role model we need, isn't it? Oh, damn. Ronnie! <laughs> oh, dear. Should have put one of them in my screen bags. Thanks, C2. Ronnie. Ronnie, we really gotta talk before. Talk to Vicky. Vicky? Listen, I gotta get back to work. Rick, Johnny, I just can't take it. Don't worry, baby. We'll play tennis again real soon. That's not what you think it is. It's over now, believe me. I always believe you. That's the trouble. So I think I hear your child. <laughs> well, and this appealing. Yep. I always wear ice cream on hot days. Here I am, Clem, honey. I really, I gotta go. It's okay. I'm not gonna keep you. Yeah, Rector, I'd go to bed with you right now if I thought I could get away with it. What? You better go now. I'm gonna do some falling apart. I don't think the pieces are going to be very attractive.
for you to hear me now. Don't stop. I can't sing if somebody's watching. I was sort of planning on sleeping in a different room every night, but you know what? I like this one. It's a high school girl's room. I never got to be a high school girl. You look like shit. Thank you. I feel like shit. Oh, I gotta get some sleep. <coughs> Thanks. Tough weekend, huh? Oh, I don't know. Murder, blackmail, guns and cops in the backyard, jobs hanging by a thread. Oh, yeah, my own mom swindled me out of house and home. Tough doesn't really do it justice. Sorry. My life was never that ordinary anyway. I always took pride in that somehow. But... Victor Boudreaux, you need a buddy. <laughs> I need a grizzly bear with a law degree. I like the buddy system. You take care of me, I'll take care of you. I'm not qualified, Jerry. You wanna fuck? <laughs> I'd like to, but all things considered. Cuddle then. You're going to court with Keith? Now that we know he's not a cold-blooded killer. I feel sorry for him. Yeah, well, you haven't done 20 years as his friend. Vicky's trying to get rid of him. Put him away. No, you don't know Vicky. She couldn't be bothered, not even for Keith. You got a thing for her, right? Who, who, who? What, did, did, did Ronnie say that? Ronnie didn't say anything. Keith did. He knows all about what she's been up to. Look, Nick, Keith Michaels is not allowed in our buddy system, all right? I'm going to change my name and join the Marines. Do you, Richter? Do I what? Do you still have a thing for her? Ronnie called. He wants his pouch back. Brigman? Take a look at this mock-up. Preston won't run it. Too suggestive, he says. I can't imagine what he was talking about. Check out his bodyguards. Real uba Alice boys. My favorite's the tall one with the tattoos. He looks like he eats live squirrels for breakfast and washes them down with gasoline. Tattoos? Yeah, flaring skulls, the usual Jesus stuff. You're looking very jumpy, Richter. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm okay. Fine. Richter Boudreau, Mr. Liddy would like to see you in his office. Hmm. Gonna have to let you go, Richter. Okay. This deadline Friday, I gave you another break, missed another one yesterday. It's a pattern. I, I don't know what it is, whether you want to be psychologically punished or what. Okay. Are you on narcotics? Uh, wash my hands of it. Won't put up with it. I got thugs coming around here asking questions about you and your friends. That's right. That's right. You what? I don't know what you've been up to, but I can't have that kind of thing around here. Who were they? What'd you tell them? I don't think that's any concern. Oh, you don't? What are you, fucking idiot? What did you fucking tell them? Start walking, mister. Nobody talks to me that way, and especially not a black sheep bedroll. Black sheep son of a black sheep, Boudreaux. Prone to violence. I know. Let's, let's crack this chair over. Joyce! Let's get inside, huh? Joyce, you want to get building security up here? 
I've been over backwards for you, boy, and I don't even like you. The only reason I hired you was because of your mother. Oh, Preston, did you fuck my mom, too? Style here. Oh, Lord, I had to come over. Things between me and Ronnie have gotten real bad. I need to talk to you. Go ahead. Could you not point that thing at me? Oh, God. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. It's okay. Hey, I'm just. That's all right. That's okay. I know you hate me. <laughs> Guess what? I hate me too. I don't hate you. How could I hate you? You're... You're Vicky. Why don't you kiss me then? camera key.
Maybe we should see how you like it, huh? You like it, don't you? This is what it feels like. You want it? Huh? I know what you like. Yeah, you like this, don't you? Don't you? <laughs> I thought you were going to do us all a favor. You fat pig. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You're such a coward. Yeah, you think so, huh? You think so? Oh, look at this. <laughs> One bully. Just one. <laughs> now, see how good your luck is, huh? Come on. Get it out! Get it No! You like it? You want to do it again? No! 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 no. God damn you! No! You go no. on over there to your lover boy. Why don't you do it? Go! Maybe I will, huh? But I'm going to get a couple more shots first. <laughs> grab his cock. I said grab his cock! Now! Okay. okay, here. There, all right? <laughs> That's good. Ah, yes. I like that. Mm. Ah! Perfect. Now all I got to do is figure out who to send it to. Chipper or Ronnie? Well, how about both, huh? See you, boot. Y'all want some privacy? <laughs> He's one sick fuck. Yeah. What do you... Stay put, you hear? Vicky's gonna take care of everything. Jerry, you seen Keith? Did he go to Ronnie's? How do you partner? Listen, he's got something that belongs to me. I just, I need to get it back, that's all. Think maybe he took some pictures? <sighs> oh, God, I, I, I don't want to hurt you, but it's all that I can do to concentrate on myself right now. Fuck you. Hey. Well, what's the matter? You never did pictures before? I did. You want to hear about some private pictures? No, Cherry, look, I just need to... We did a thing! Me and Erla. It's a rich boy. Comes on to her after a show. Go out with me, baby. Show sugar, she says. Look, I, I, I don't have to hear this. So Erla comes home. And she's all upset, right? Rich boy takes her to some motel. Wants her to suck him off while he's cursing her. Calling her nigger and shit. He hurt you, Earl, baby? No, he didn't hurt nothing. Paid me $200. It's a rich little fuck, got lots of money. So, rich boy comes back two nights later. Wants her to go out again. So, I go, fuck him. Fuck him, Earl. I got a camera. Let's do a thing, okay? So I go leave the blinds open at the motel. Me in the bushes with my Nikon. Some rich boy's calling her nigger. Comes right away all over. But he's really pissed. He's yelling at her like it was Earl's fault. 
big nigger dick. That's what you want, baby. I'll show you big nigger dick. And he's got a club. A big fucking club. And he's sticking her with it. And she's yelling. And he's hitting her. And hitting her. And hitting her. And I couldn't move. I couldn't move. Get out of town, right? We'll go to Houston, we'll drive down to Mexico or something. No! Listen to me. We'll just get the fuck out of town, all right? He killed her! He hurt her and he killed her and we're gonna make fuck him Fuck is pay. everybody thinking this is Harmon Shaw's baby boy? Do you understand? Harmon Shaw! Is he evil? What? Is he evil? Yeah. Uh, I've I've been trying to call you. Well, here I am. Yeah. Listen, why why did you trash my house? I didn't. Well, then who did? Begin. Begin. Vic here. Huh. Biggest split. She, she did? I thought maybe you knew. No, I didn't. She's been fucking around. I thought maybe you knew. No, listen, I don't think that you... I don't think nothing. You got the pouch. I want that pictures, right there. Pictures? Uh... The pouch is, is still at my mom's. I haven't touched it except to hide it, of course. She, she came back last night before I had a chance to get it out of there, but that's not the only problem. You're dicking around with me, comrade. No, no. Listen, there's a reporter I know. The lady did the car story. She was covering Shaw's press conference, and she noticed one of his bodyguards had this tattoo, this big tattoo, this big fucking tattoo right here. I think that I've seen this guy before when I met you and Cherry at that strip joint. If that's him, if it's the same guy, he was right there. He must have seen us. This guy came to my office asking questions and shit. He must have trashed my house. They know who we are. Maybe they do. I ain't surprised. What do you think I'm doing this for, Ricky? Uh, I don't know. Think about it. Think hard. What, the money? Fuck the money. <laughs> money on its own don't mean a fucking thing. You ought to know that. I worked at the country club one summer shagging golf balls on the driving range. Used to ride around on this little fucking tractor inside a cage so the rich folks could practice while I have a dream. One day I'm sweating in that cage and this big fucker decides he's gonna make a game of me, you know? So he aims at that tractor and me inside and he's hitting bucket after bucket. And balls are banging off the tractor, banging off the bars. He just laughs. His friend's laughing with him. <laughs> you know, hell, I didn't mind the sport. I just remember that laughing. Then Vicky standing off to the side, watching her father knock golf balls all over me. Vicky didn't laugh, didn't even smile. She looked at me like she knew just the way I feel. That's love, comrade. At least that's where it starts. Well, I don't think that Harmon Shaw cares much about love or anything else. Least of all, dead nigga gal, right? What do you want to do? I want to fuck him up. I want you to help. Jerry. 
Cherry, this is no time for wretched excess. I'm just partying a little, that's all. I've never been to a prom before. I bet you took Vicky. But I want you to focus, okay? Cherry's on the case, baby. And you got nothing to worry about. Thank you. You're very welcome. Ma'am? Oh, whoa. Uh, Sorry. That's quite all right, ma'am. No, man, I'll get it. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna have to do a little better than that, okay? This is fun. <laughs> Try not to wobble. Hi, Mom. Thank you. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have some aspirin in your purse, would you? <clears throat> Richter, I'd like you to meet somebody very special to me. Victor, this is my other son, Richter. Vic here. Hi, I'm the other son. You've heard all about me. Yes, I have. Thanks for redeveloping my house. Uh, and who is this? Oh, Mom, Victor, this is my friend, Cherry. Cherry, pleased to meet you. Richter has told me, uh, what have you told me? Nothing. I think I'll just go freshen this up a little bit for Why? you, honey. Bye, Vic. Um. Well, I think I have to go say hello to my friends, the Winstons. Mom and I have one of those special relationships that transcend the usual bonds of family. So, Billy, how do you like our new dad? I like all our dads. Say, I, uh, I bet you can't drink that down like this. Pete? Uh, Jerry, have you met my brother, Billy? Half brother. Nice to meet you. Jerry needs some help finding the ladies' room, Billy. Oh, gladly. <laughs> Thank you. Sucks. Thank you, darling. Hello. Uh, my mother left her medication in a coat, but we can't seem to find the. Uh... Uh, excuse me. Ronnie. Ronnie, you can't come in here. It's just, it's, it's not cool. I've almost got the key. Richter. It's okay, Mom. I got it. I'm giving you an hour to meet me at Keith's house. You got that? Okay. You understand me on that? Yes. No more bullshit. Okay. An hour. That. Oh, just some guy from the golf course. I took care of him. Mom. Wow, you should got a lot of gifts here. Darling, I will abide your girlfriend, but I draw the line at criminals. Mom, have you seen Billy? I think all this excitement's kind of gotten to him. Excitement? Well, I think he's just had a little too much champagne. Don't be too hard on him. He's just a kid. Hey, uh, I know. Why don't I take him home for you? Terry and I were just about to leave anyway. Oh, oh my Lord, God! Oh, Billy! Billy! Uh, uh, how could you? Happens to Oh, Billy. Oh. 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 Mom, why don't I just take him home? Huh? Yes, he has his keys. Okay, good. 
Billy threw up on the rug. <sighs> you think Billy will be all right? He was looking kind of green when we left. Oh, I like Billy green. Lucky for you, we found this film. You ever see Ronnie when he gets angry? <laughs> His eyes don't blink. Yeah, well. We're not going to go see Ronnie just yet. What? I said we're not going to go see Ronnie just yet. Where are we going? Well, I got something to do. God damn it, where are we going? I got to see Vicky first, OK? Oh, well, that's real optimistic, Richter. What do you have in mind? I, uh, I don't know. TV for five million. <laughs> Who's Ricky Ricardo? every night. Almost never gets a single answer, except state capitals. But funny thing is, he just keeps watching. He's real determined, like that. That's the way he came for me. Like I was the only thing on his mind. You love him. Imagine my surprise, huh? <sighs> what are you gonna do? I'm gonna we'll sit here. I gotta wait for the round of champions. You know what's weird? What? I never really thought about you and me. You know, I just knew it. At least I thought I did, but lately I... It's, it's like something I learned in high school, but it took me years to realize that it really had no practical application in the real world. Well, that's real sweet, Victor. It just hit me. I guess I just like the way you looked at me when we were kids. Huh. I didn't like that. We were kids. Yeah. Your favor. Don't, don't go anywhere, not just yet. Shit, I got that fortune wheel coming up next. Clem sleeps a solid eight, so I ain't going nowhere. Mayberry. 
Joyce Mayberry. I have no fucking idea. Wait up a minute, will you? Fuck off! Listen, Cherry, I just want to talk. My name's not Cherry, it's Eleanor! I don't need you, I don't need anybody. Me and Ronnie will take care of this ourselves. After he ripped your head off. Damn it, what? that's Which not what's exactly happening Which is exactly what here. you deserve! Banging his wife! Hey, come on, Eleanor! What? Well, first of all, Tulsa is that way. You're going the wrong direction. <sighs> what else is new? Well, you were wrong about Vicky, but I was too. I kind of figured that Cherry was just your stage name. Yeah, well, Tiffany was overused and Chesty seemed inappropriate. Eleanor, huh? That was named for my aunt. Your your Aunt Eleanor? Yeah. You want to hear about my whole family tree? Well, yeah. Yes, I would. That, that'd be nice. Earl was the only real friend I ever had. I mean, I had people to do shit together, but I never had someone I could count on before. I was hoping I could count on you. Drive with me, huh? Come on. We'll take that film to Ronnie. We'll make Bedford pay for what he did, you and me. Please. Don't call me Eleanor. Not yet. Something okay. puzzles me, Richard. You know what that is? No. For the life of me, I can't figure out how Keith got our film. Yeah, yeah, that is weird. I mean, I can, I can see how, how it would appear that way, but, but you know, the strange thing is that Keith took it. Right, right. But he knew. You know, that's what's strange. That Keith knew how important it was. So he decided to give it to you because that's where it belonged. Instead of just, just giving it to me, just, you know, he's, you know, Keith, he's... Well, shit, then. So I'll wrap this up, send it off to Harmon Show, everybody gets rich. Yeah, that's, that's great, Ronnie, but, you know, why don't you give it to me, and I can wrap it up, send it off from the office. Yeah, let Richter send it, that'll work. You all want to take a fucking vote? I think it's best if I take it from here, Richter might lose it again, ain't that right, Richter? Yeah. Uh, listen, Ronnie, about that film, it's, it's not what you think it is. It's a long, strange story about what happened, but the important thing is... Nobody move! <laughs> What's the matter, Bedford? You got your gun on, crooked. Give me the film. Give me the film and I won't shoot anybody. You look a bit shaky to me, baby. 
Maybe you should have something to eat now. Ronnie, Ronnie, well, I think you should just give him the film. God damn it, I'll shoot, I mean it! Pretty dead easy, Cuba. Defenseless girl, I guess that's one thing, but three at a time? I don't know, Bedford. Seems to me your reach has exceeded your grasp. All right. I'll shoot the whore first. Fuck you. Fuck you! Let's go, girl. Hey! God damn it, give me the film! <laughs> nice shooting, Bedford. You murdered the lamp. Just give him the film. It's not what you think it is. Just give it to him. Yeah, Richard. What do you think it is? All right, I am going to count ten. I'm going to count to ten. Oh, shut the fuck up. He's a damn film. Come and get it. Give it here. Come on over, you sack of shit. I'm warning you. <laughs> you beat Earl to death with a stick. Man like that ought to stand real tall. Okay, guys. Guys. So why don't you just come and get it? Hey. Okay. Thank you, Victor. You're, you're welcome. Just a motherfucker. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> What's that asshole doing in my dining room? Whatever he was doing, he's done. Mm -hmm. Shit! Now what? Think fast, college boy. What the fuck are you talking about? This. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is what happened. Here's the story. Bedford Shaw came over to the house. He had a gun. He came over because he thought you had the film. You were upstairs watching TV and, and you heard him. You heard him because he broke in. Here. You grabbed your gun, naturally. You came downstairs, surprised him. He took a shot at you. And you shot him in self-defense. What about the film? Jerry and I will take this film down to Brinkman at the Journal. Brinkman will spread it all over the front page. And she'll have an eyewitness to back it up. Bedford Shaw, murderer, shot by a local hero. We'll bury Harmon Shaw's good name with his son. You weren't here. You weren't here. And neither was I. What about my money? Money on its own don't mean a damn thing. You ought to know that. Vicky's, uh, she's waiting for you there. Y'all tell me what the hell is going on here. Yeah, I can do that. 
started with a dead girl named Erla. <sighs> Dear Brinkman, I hope this letter finds you. The local post office is, well, sort of eccentric when it comes to the whole mail delivery concept. Cherry and I came down here after the hearing. Sometimes, when I think about it, I can still see Harmon Shaw sitting in the back of the courtroom, like an angry god, stunned that his subjects had conjured up the nerve to defy him. That and Keith in the spotlight he always deserved. Every town needs a gunslinger, I guess. The days are hot here, the nights are cool. I started to write about what happened that week, but then I didn't. Right now, sunrise and sunset are enough. Well, that and the frequent margarita. I'm a long way from home. Cherry is too. We intend to figure that out together. Please send money. Just kidding. Richter. <laughs>